There are many different opinions on how much water we should be having each day. Now, the health authorities commonly say we should have eight eight ounce glasses of water or two liters per day. And then there's people who say that we should consistently sip water throughout the day even when we're not thirsty. In this video, I'm looking at what the evidence actually says and make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be giving you some revolutionary advice. Maintaining water balance is essential for our survival. Now for this reason, our bodies have developed some intricate mechanisms for regulating uh, when and how much we drink. When our total water content goes below a certain level, thirst kicks in. Now this is controlled by mechanisms similar to things like breathing. We don't need to consciously think about it. For most, there probably isn't any need to worry about water intake at all. The thirst instinct is very reliable and has managed to keep us humans alive for a very long time. Then there's also the benefits of staying hydrated for optimal physical and mental function, uh, bowel habits, potentially even weight loss. Um, this is why there are recommendations to have eight, eight ounce glasses of water per day. Interestingly, there really is no actual science behind the eight by eight rule though. Now this study found it's completely arbitrary and it really depends on the individual person. That being said, the author does emphasize that certain circumstances may call for increased water intake more than simple thirst can command. Water need is increased during breastfeeding, as well as several disease states like vomiting and diarrhea. Older people may need to consciously watch their water intake too because some studies show that the thirst mechanism can start to malfunction in old age. Then of course we also need more during times of increased sweating like exercise and hot weather. Additionally, I thought it's worth mentioning that plain water is not the only thing that contributes to fluid balance. Uh, other beverages, including tea and coffee uh, and food can all contribute to our hydration status. At the end of the day, no one can tell you specifically how much water you need. Uh, you have to do a bit of self-experimentation. For some people, they find that if they drink more water, uh, they feel better, while for others, uh, increasing water intake just means uh, more frequent trips to the bathroom. If you wanna keep things simple, which is always a good idea, then these guidelines should apply to about 90% of people and they're very similar to our how many meals should you eat per day guidelines. And they go like this. When you're thirsty, drink. When you're no longer thirsty, stop. In high heat or when you're doing exercise, you have to drink extra and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this or you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up. You can also leave a comment. And more importantly, please click the red button below this video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel.